Hey guys, welcome back for another vlog. But first, let's start this vlog off with a prayer. So today's prayer is, Dear God, I refuse to enter into the new year with any sadness and anger. Starting today, I let go of all trauma and negativity around me. Please place your healing power all over me and my spirit. Cleanse my soul of all resentment and dark feelings. You are the only medicine that I seek and need. Without you, I am nothing. I invite your perfect spirit into my heart and life. I graciously ple plead that you make me more like you and create in me a pure heart. May all my days go by smoothly and be filled with your everlasting love. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So I pray that that prayer blesses you guys today. I'm actually heading off to Aldi. I got to uh, get a few grocery items. And then tomorrow we're doing movie night. So, yeah, we're doing movie night. I like to do like a charcuterie board type movie night. It makes it a little bit more fun. And the kids love food. <laughs> It's a great way to encourage them to spend time with their family. So um, we're doing that. So I'll probably pick a few things up from Aldi for our charcuterie board for tomorrow. Today, I'm also making a broccoli cheddar soup. Maybe even make some dinner rolls. So I might make the booty rolls recipe, just not booty rolls. Just going to be regular dinner rolls. I'll do that. Um, and yeah, so I'm getting ready to leave the house first. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day. How are you guys doing? It is so cold outside, y'all. I am wearing this sweater. I'm not used to dress like this. Normally, I dress with a cardigan, but my cardigans are kind of thin. It doesn't protect me from, oh, from the cold. It is. Let me see, y'all. We're not used to this here in the South. It is 35 degrees. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> that is so cold, you guys. But... I might stop by the thrift store. I don't know yet. They're not open yet. Not for another hour. So I might have to wait. But I do got to do some groceries. So wherever I got, got going on today, I will take you guys along for that. I want to give a huge thank you to Bellway for sponsoring today's video. I'm so happy that I get to work with them again. Bellway Beauty Supplements are made with fiber and collagen to improve your skin from the inside. Fiber detoxifies your system to help prevent breakouts. It improves the way your body absorbs nutrients that support your skin, hair, and nails. It also helps you stay fuller longer so you don't crave those unhealthy snacks that can wreak havoc on your skin. Which, by the way, guys, I kind of fell off during Thanksgiving week with taking my fiber. And y'all, I could tell a huge difference in my skin and the way I feel so I'm so glad that I'm back on. Bellwear Beauty is an organic all-natural keto paleo friendly and gluten-free fiber supplement. It contains non-GMO ingredients and zero sugar. It's flavored with real fruit so it tastes like a fruity lemonade and to take it simply mix it with water or you can also blend it with smoothie and drink it immediately. It's important to drink more water when you take it Bellway Fiber. What's also great is that they have various bundles on their website with an amazing value. Bellway Fiber is available at some Targets, Sprouts, and Walmart locations. I have a special code for you. Use my code Yesenia to get 25% off your first orders at Bellway. And I want to thank Bellway for sponsoring today's video. anything in there at all so that's okay hey guys so i just got to all day i didn't really find much at goodwill let me straighten you guys up i didn't really find much in there but i didn't expect much in there i didn't go any in there with any hopes or anything but again it's been a while since i've shown you guys and there's new people here so i wanted to show this to you guys again john got this keychain for me for all these so basically instead of putting a quarter in there or looking for a quarter because half the time i don't have cash or change i do sometimes and i especially keep some when i go to aldi i keep some in the car just for that but this is easier i like it you can keep it on your keychain it's only like five bucks for like two of these i think and you can find it on amazon it's linked in my amazon 
in my description box, sorry. You click on the arrow that's facing down, you click on that, you'll see a bunch of different links on there. You'll see one that says Amazon, you see that Amazon favorites link. When you click on that, you'll see a bunch of different stuff that I have or use. If you're looking for the link for that, it'll be on there. This is on there. I love to use this. You put this in there instead of the quarter and you can use it every single time. I love this. It's like five bucks, six bucks for two. I think it's great. He has one. I have one as well. So I'll show you guys how it works. But I love this thing. I love sharing stuff like this with you guys because I know no matter what I, even when I don't say where it came from, y'all still going to ask for the link anyway. So that's where I got it from, Amazon. So if you're looking for it or if you can't find my link in my description box, go to Amazon and you type in there Aldi keychain or something like that and it should pull up. There's some that are plastic and there's some that are like this. I think this one is better. So because I was on TikTok and I saw someone use it. I'm like, oh my God, I want that. I mentioned it to John and of course he went ahead and ordered it. So this thing is the best. All right, y'all, do not mind my truck. Not my truck, my trunk. But another thing that's in there is these totes. I love it because they're, they open like a box for groceries and it's so much easier than regular bags. So this is what I take in there to Aldi. There's this one, I need this. John likes to keep tools in my car. He says one day I might need it. I don't know how to use any of it, but that's what he says important. <laughs> so here's the totes. Do I feel like I need this one too? Yeah, I think I do. Let me take the tag off so they don't think I just went in there and grabbed it, but I did pay for this a while ago. All right, so this is how you use it, you guys. I usually just put it in, make sure it's pushed in, and that's it. That's it. Look how easy that was. Right, let's look at the strawberries. I always look at the bottom. Okay. I'm in the, you know, the section that gets everybody. And y'all, this is so cute. They have stuff like this. But I feel like my all, they don't have as much as what they show on TikTok or Instagram or even YouTube. They have some of the stuff, but not all. so many cute stuff for hot chocolate like look at this we love hot chocolate in the house but we already have cocoa butter this is the make me melt in hot milk this is so cute he's a snowman oh they also have these dark drizzle kettle corn popcorn yeah i think this would look good in the on the tear tray or like you could put them in a bowl and just mix it all together it all depends on how you like to do it but this one is the peppermint flavor so i'm getting that too have the white and dark drizzle caramel corn they have this peppermint pretzel stars. Okay, so I'm taking this too. Y'all look at these pretzels. These are so cool. You could put like a Hershey's Kiss in the middle and just melt it. A lot of people do that. All they be doing it every time. So I'm almost done, but I wanted to show you guys this. I was getting ready to turn around and then I found the uh, Elf on the Shell cake bites. Those are cute. So I'm putting down the charcuterie. I'm not take, buying these because I already got Oreos, but these are the hot cocoa ones. Let me know how those taste. They also have the joy, but I'm good. I got enough junk. <laughs> oh, darn, these are cute. Yeah. You know what? It, uh, yeah. All right, y'all, so that was a successful trip. I found pretty much everything I needed. I was looking for some Christmas M&Ms and I thought we had to go to Walmart for that. But they didn't have the big bags here. What they had was the smaller bags. They had the smaller bags, so that was good enough for me. Because for a small group this Sunday, we're having the Grinch theme party. I always bring not just food, but I always bring some sort of dessert. I mean, it wouldn't be me without bringing some sort of baked treat. Um, so what I'm just going to make is those brownies. You know, the, the brownie mix I get from Sam's Club, the Hershey's one. I always keep those because I'll bring a big pan of brownies. But what I do is to make it more Christmassy is I um, I add like Christmas sprinkles and then I also add like Christmas M&Ms and stuff like that. So if it was Halloween, it would have been same fall, whatever, Valentine's Day, same thing. 
I'm on the way home now. I can't wait to go home. I've been, I wanna, I've been out of the house for a long time. I just want to be home. I love home. Especially when you create a space that's comfortable and clean. You just want to be in your own space. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going home and I'm going to tidy up the kitchen because we still got like breakfast dishes and stuff out. And then I am going to get uh, get to making the bread. So I could give, give it time to rise and stuff. That's my plan for today so far. <laughs> now, as far as the charcuterie board we're doing tomorrow, we're doing game, not game night. Well, the, we should do game night Saturday, I think. But I'm not filming or anything this weekend. I try my best to film on weekdays. So like that I don't have to work on the weekend. Weekend turns into family time. Sometimes that doesn't happen. And I do film on the weekends. But I try my best, if I can help it, to film during the week. So like that, I get to enjoy some Christmas movies or something. Y'all, I still ain't hardly watching no Christmas movies. Now, when my in-laws were here, we literally, that on the second vlog, first day of filming back, I didn't hardly film on that day because of the fact we were chilling, like, they were tired from their drive and we were all tired from cooking and all the stuff plus we were going to sleep super late like two three in the morning we literally watched christmas movies back to back so we watched home alone one and two those are two, my two favorites three four five six those are imposters those movies are no good do you like those have y'all watched those we don't even look at them um but that's what we mainly watched. Everyone was in the living room enjoying some Christmas movies. And that was so enjoyable. That felt so good. But tomorrow we'll find a new Christmas movie. Because I know they're dropping some new ones. And then Saturday, I'm watching Destiny's Hair. And I'm watching some Hallmark Christmas movies. Or a Lifetime. I don't care. I'm watching some. I haven't had a chance to watch anything. I don't want it to be like last year. I didn't hardly watch too much Christmas movies. Because I was so busy. No, I'm watching some some Christmas movies. I'm looking forward to it. And then we could do game night also Saturday. We have this Christmas Monopoly game. I shared it with you guys last year. We were playing the game. It was so much fun. We probably do that on Saturday. So this weekend is going to be definitely enjoyable. I may make a TikTok out of it or whatever. But as far as the charcuterie board, I always get off track. I make them... Sometimes I make it with fruits and sandwiches and other stuff. It all depends because we're also ordering pizza tomorrow. We're ordering pizza. What else are we doing? And then I'm making a charcuterie board. And then uh, everyone's getting hot cocoa as well. Yeah, it's a bunch of junk on the charcuterie board. But it's not something that they get every day or even every weekend. <laughs> Maybe every other weekend. Sometimes just once a month. I'm not baking tomorrow because this the sweets that I got today is considered part of their sweets for Friday. This is tomorrow's Friday. So just letting you guys know because they'll be the ones be like, oh you not, you put nothing but junk on there. Sis, have fun. Okay. Alright so. y'all so I am on the way home but on the way home there's a new Dollar General and we get excited about a new Dollar General. <laughs> no we don't. But it seems like we have one on every corner. Like literally within two miles we have at least six Dollar Generals. Well, anyways, this is a new one, and when a new store opens, y'all know how it is. You want to go inside to see if they have anything different or new. So, I'm about to go see what they have in here, and then I get to go home. Y'all, it's so clean and organized. Y'all know how it is when it's a brand new. It's a cute little tray right here. I like that. How much is it, though? Eight dollars. Not bad. So I'm back home. I didn't get much from Dollar General. I just got the items I had coupons for. Uh, so I got two trash bags, two black trash bags for the bathroom. These are the Clorox brand. And these say, but I know I got these specifically. It says eliminates trash and bacterial odors. Lemon fresh bleach scent. I like that. So I needed that. And then I got... <clears throat> 
I had a $3 off coupon for this Tide. This Tide uh, Clean Boost Fabrics Rinse. I've been liking these so far. All right, got that. And then last but not least, I got the Head & Shoulders Apple Cider Vinegar. Clarifies scalp and restores shine to the hair. All right, so this is what I got. Let's see, it'll focus. All right, so um, that's... I got that, and that's it. That's all I got from Dollar General. So, the produce, I'm washing the... I'm soaking the strawberries right now, but... Y'all saw that I got the kettle corn from Aldi. That's the dark, dark drizzled one. And then this one, it says that one's sweet and salty. So is this one. This one's sweet and salty. Peppermint. This is the peppermint pretzel stars. I bought these last year as well. Actually, last year I made a charcuterie board for a small group for the party. And I made a um, Christmas dip with the those Christmas tree cakes whipped cream, cream cheese or something else. It was really good. Very fattening too. I got the Hershey's Kisses Peppermint Chocolate. This is for a small group for when I do the brownies. I have to sprinkle on top. And then these are going on the charcuterie board as well. It's full of junk. These two. So that's for when I make it tomorrow. I'm actually gonna leave it in this tote, tote bag, until I'm ready to use it. Everything else I had already put away, which was monthly produce, cucumbers, tomatoes, strawberries, nothing interesting. All right, y'all, so I'm getting ready to make the dinner rolls. I'll make sure to link the recipe down in my description box. It's what we call the booty rolls because we put two rolls together in a muffin pan and when it uh, rises up, it looks like two little booty cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> it was tricks me out when I say it. Um, so I just finished warming up the milk. It's a one cup and a quarter. So I'm going to put one cup of the warm milk with I did a uh, cold butter, and it's a quarter cup of cold butter. So I'm just gonna put that one cup in there, leave some in here. And that warm milk sits with the butter, and then I use this quick rise yeast and I'm going to use two teaspoons two, two and a quarter teaspoons and I'm gonna have to stir that and hopefully it bubbles up it doesn't give me any trouble sometimes it does if the war if not the water the milk is not warm enough it won't bubble up you know and if it's too warm it also won't bubble up I like to put the oven on warm, like on the lowest setting, and then I turn it off so like that I can let the yeast, the, the dough rise in the oven. So, usually once you add the yeast into the milk, you wait five minutes and usually it looks like throw up, to be honest. Very, it looks very bubbly and frothy. And that's how you know that it worked. Now, if it still looks like a bunch of little beads with milk, it looked it, it didn't work so yeah I'll be back in five minutes all right y'all so I should have done this before I added the milk is I'm gonna add one quarter cup of sugar and then I'm gonna add one teaspoon of kosher salt add that in there I'm not gonna make a double recipe this time so it should be enough or well, maybe it's a mistake <laughs> I don't know okay so the Milk is done. It says microwave. Dun, 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 dun. No need to stir. Okay, so next we are going to add the beaten egg. <clears throat> Y'all, who else allergy is messing up around this time of year? Because my gosh. All right, that is in there. And then the next thing we do, what are we doing? For a quarter past five minutes until foamy, add the mixture in there. This is the mixture with the yeast. Okay. And then stir, stir everything combined. Okay. So we have that. Using a hook, using a hook attachment, which it comes with your machine. Add in 
three and a half cups of flour. So when I do bread, I like to do it this way. So I'm going to add the flour first. Normally I add a little bit at a time, but I prefer to do it this way for the bread. So I'm just going to add three and a half cup first, and then I'm just letting it mix in there. And if it needs more, that's when I add more. Three and then half. Which most of the time it does. I'm gonna let that mix start it slowly and then I'm gonna go fast. Let me get you guys a little closer. Well it says once to make sure to scrape off the sides like that and um it's incorporating incorporating everything in there. Okay. And then when you do that, you got to go really fast because when you go really fast, that's what nets the dough. All right, so it's kind of sticky right now. So what I'm going to do is add more flour. Just a little bit of time until it's not as sticky anymore. Hmm, I could use a little bit more dough. A little bit more. the dough is ready to go I like to wear a cloth this is clean of it on I leave the light on in the oven and that's where I let the because the bread needs to rise and it needs to be somewhere warm so I just put it in the oven turn up, make sure the oven is turned off y'all and just let it rise for an hour or two so I like to make sure I do the bread ahead of time for that reason right, so before I get to starting dinner I'm going to make myself some tea. Isn't this mug super cute? I got this from TJ Maxx for $4.99. That was cute. I'm going to add one bag of Immunity Zoom. Because this time of year, y'all, I am struggling. You can find this at Walmart. I got it from Walmart. It was like 4 something. It has um, elderberry in here. So I'll do one bag of this. I have the water boiling. And then I'm going to add one peppermint. Got this from Home Goods. All right. There's that. Let me get some honey. I want lots and lots of honey. So right now I'm using the Georgia Raw in unfiltered honey. I got this from Sam's Club. I try my best to get the good, good stuff. It costs more, but it's better. Lots of honey. <laughs> just waiting for this to boil. Oh, I just realized that these, you know, this matches. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so I got everything together. I'll make sure that I leave the link to the recipe down in my description box just in case you guys want to go ahead and try it out. So I'm making broccoli cheddar soup. I've been craving the soup for a while, y'all. I got my EDG test, and one of the things that I wanted was the uh, broccoli soup from Panera Bread, and John got it for me. So I am finally making some. And if you're wondering where I got this pot from, it's from Walmart. John got it for me. It's the Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. 
beautiful line and i'm obsessed with her line like this is what it looks like normally it's a dutch oven this thing is a beauty i love her but anyway so i'm gonna uh add the butter here first the, the recipe would be in my description box but it's broccoli cheddar soup on the lighter side okay y'all so i'm gonna let this butter do its thing now in the recipe it asks you to in the food processor to chop up the vegetables like the carrots the celery the onions all in the food processor now my ninja went a little ham and turned it into mush more so it's kind of very puree but it's still gonna work just letting the butter do its thing let it melt a little bit all right y'all so now we're gonna add the mush vegetables <laughs> but i just put in a uh food processor it's still gonna cook just the same only that it's more like watery consistency and once it like that cook it also has garlic Oh, it smells good already. I'm going to let this cook for a few minutes. I'm also going to add some salt and pepper while it's cooking. I'm going to let it cook about, I'll say, five, six minutes. This is kosher salt. Now, keep in mind, kosher salt is higher in salt, okay, versus, let's say, Himalayan salt or iodized salt. Ooh, the onions are making my eyes watery. I'm also putting crushed garlic. Not garlic, sorry. Black pepper. Oh, my mess. Let this cook for a little bit. All right, friends. So now I'm adding some flour to make a roux. I'm going to cook it for at least two minutes. It smells so good in the house already. I gotta make the uh, dinner rolls. I know it's still in the oven, but I know it's already rising. It's almost finished. I'm gonna, I was trying to make, do the soup first before I work on the dinner rolls, because the dinner rolls are pre, it's pretty easy to do. Once you, because you have to punch it down once it rises, and then you gotta let it rise again once you turn them into little balls, if you're gonna make them on the same day. Now, if you're gonna not make it on the same day, I would put it put it in little balls on a sheet pan and freeze it that way. Let me uh, get this off. Let that cook. And next, we're going to add six cups of chicken broth, and we're also going to whisk it. Let me get my whisk. I'm gonna be struggling a little bit, a little bit with this bowl because my arthritis in my hands. But I'm gonna do the best that I can. Normally, it says for you to whisk it at the same time as you're pouring. But the way my hands are set up, I'm gonna do half and half because I can't. The bowl is pretty heavy. Let this rise a little bit. Let it dissolve a little bit and then add the rest. It's a heavy bowl. I don't know why, but I love glass bowls. And usually I get them from the thrift store. But one thing about glass bowls is they're heavy. So you make sure you whisk it so that there's no lumps in here. And then you have to bring it to a boil. Just keep whisking. So I just put the heat on high and then I'm going to add the milk. Once everything goes to a boil, we'll go ahead and add the broccoli. I'm just keep whisking. I know you guys have been saying that y'all really enjoy when I bake and I cook in my video, so I try to incorporate that in a lot of the vlogs. Let me know you still enjoy it, and I'll definitely add some more. They're literally my favorite ones to film. All right, so now that it's pretty much boiling, I'm going to add the broccoli slowly. I do not want it to splash. Right, and it asks you to add the Parmesan cheese. Okay, we're going to mix that together. Now, 
we're going to let this I'm, a, I'm going to lower down the heat and cover this and let it cook about 15 to 20 minutes We'll be back. Right, now the soup is ready to blend. Now if you have an immersion blender, it's like a little blender that you could put inside the soup, I would recommend that. I have one, I just don't feel like pulling it, pulling it out because if you see my sink right now full of dishes, normally I clean as I go, but when I'm filming, it's very hard to do. So I'm going to take about two cups. This is a one cup measurement, I think. Yes, it is. I'll say about two cups of broccoli. Let me take some of the broth too. I didn't take enough out. Leave some of the broccoli in there because you don't want everything to be puree. You want small pieces of broccoli in here too. But I want to take more. Let's see, is that good? Take a bit more. It's up to you how much you take out. I'm going to use my Ninja Blender and put a little bit of the broth in there too. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to blend it and put it back in. Adding this back in. Make sure I get everything out. Use the spoon. Okay. I'm gonna stir this up. Make sure you, throughout the process you taste to see if it needs any more salt or anything like that. It's up to you. Mine is fine. Okay, so that's that. All right, so I personally, you could get shredded, pre-shredded teas. But I got the block of sharp cheddar cheese and I use the cheese grater myself, but I have a handheld one that I'm going to show you. It makes um, shredding cheese so much easier. I prefer to use the block cheese because when you use block cheese, it's fresher and doesn't have that coating, which kind of makes it harder for the cheese that comes in a bag to melt. All right, the block cheese is just so much better. So let's stir that up. Ooh, I've been craving this for so long. I was talking to Shanti. We've been talking for like three hours now. We've both been craving broccoli cheddar soup. I've been telling her I've been craving this for a while, so I went ahead and made it. Oh, I love it. I'm going to let that boil a little bit longer, and then it's done. All right, y'all. So I just finished netting the dough with some flour. I forgot to film it. I just started doing it. I put a little flour on the counter and just like rolled it in some dough. It makes it easier to make it into balls because if not, it sticks to your fingers. But I'm going to put it back in the oven for another hour. Luckily, this is why I cook early. Let it rise and then I'm going to bake it. Time to let the water get hot so I can make some soapy water. Dirty dish here. All this. And this is after, I'm talking to Shanti. This is after uh, I put some stuff in the dishwasher. The stuff that goes there. But a lot of this stuff I wash by hand. So yeah and this is like the third time i've done dishes already <laughs> it's okay I, I love what i do oh come all ye faithful joyful and triumphant So they just finished rising. They could rise um, higher, taller, but <laughs> we ain't got time. So I got the oven on 350. It's going to bake in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes in there. Dad. 
Dashing through the snow In one horse open sleigh Or the fields we go All right, y'all, so that pretty much will be all for today. We're gonna eat dinner, but Destiny's the only one home that boys will come home a little later, so I'm gonna wait for them. I'm looking at my plant. I need to water her tomorrow. Big Bertha. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. My day does not end. Um, we got spelling bee to practice for. We got a science fair project due tomorrow. So my job is not finished. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys. Bye y'all. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells.